In this lesson, we'll learn about chords. But first, we need some extra notes on our staff. Notice how this descending scale runs out of notes when we get to D. We can continue down the scale by using ledger lines. A ledger line is a short line written above or below the staff to extend the notes available. So, moving backwards through the musical alphabet, we can determine the note on the first ledger line below the staff is C. Let's look at the C major scale on the treble staff, starting on the C below the staff. The distance between two notes is called an interval. We already know that each note of the scale has a scale degree number based on its distance from the tonic. We can use these numbers to talk about the distance. Let's base this discussion off the C major scale. We'll look at the C major scale on the staff and the keyboard. The distance from C, the first degree, to D, the second degree, is called an interval of a second. We just say C to D is a second. Let's apply this to the rest of the scale. C to D is a second. C to E is a third. C to F is a fourth. C to G is a fifth. C to A is a sixth. C to B is a seventh. And C to C is an eighth which we call an octave. Scales are written horizontally on the staff to indicate the notes are played one after the other. But if we take every second note of the scale and stack them on top of each other, we have a vertical arrangement to indicate the notes are played at the same time. A vertical arrangement of notes is called a chord. Just like the scales they come from, chords also have a unique flavor or sound quality. We can form chords on the piano using the same approach of taking every second note of the scale. We call a chord with three notes a triad from tri for three. The triad derives its name from the scale it comes from, so A minor triad comes from A minor scale. And C major triad comes from C major scale. We also use the terms A minor chord and C major chord. Let's look at the intervals in major and minor chords to see what's unique about them. The C major triad or chord has the intervals of a third and a fifth, and the A minor triad has the intervals of a third and a fifth, but their quality is different. The difference is in the quality of the thirds. Because it comes from the major scale, the major triad has a major third. E, the major third, is two whole steps or tones away from C. Meanwhile, because it comes from the minor scale, the minor triad has a minor third. C, the minor third, is only a whole step plus a half step away from A. This is how the major scales and minor scales achieve their distinctive sound. We can notate chords vertically indicating the notes are to be played simultaneously, called block chords. Or we can notate chords horizontally indicating the notes are to be played one after the other, called an arpeggio, from the Italian way to play the harp. Use the end of this video to help you identify major or minor chords just by hearing them. Musicians call this by ear, so you're working on your ear training to allow you to identify major and minor chords by ear. Here are some examples of major and minor chords to help you identify them when you hear them. The trick is to concentrate on the first two notes. Rewind this part of the video to replay the scales. And that is everything you need to know about chords.